Hey, what's going on everyone? Dave here with some more Pokemon Academy Life. Let's continue onwards. Brendan just admitted his fear of commitment, so let's see what happens going on. We might get some drama. I'm sure attendance depends on the club as well, but it's safe to say that joining a club requires serious commitment. Uh, more competitive and selective ones have strict attendance. Oh, so can I get kicked out if I don't go to club sessions? Lining's thinning out over at Seafood Station. Yeah, basculin it up. Okay, talking so much. We've been talking so much we barely touched our food. We should clean this up before lunch gets over. Is over. I'm full. You can have the rest of mine if you want, Brendan. I don't want to get fat. Oh my god, could you imagine? I'm getting so fat. <laughs> anyway, how are classes going so far, everyone? Where do I even start? We listen to Leaf complain about school as we finish up our lunches. Okay, so she's talkative enough to carry the whole freaking conversation. That's great. I'm, it's almost a shame to go to class, but I can't say I'm not anticipating my next one either. Yeah. Imagine. Wouldn't it be weird if there was like a ninja or something teaching? It looks like I have my poison elective coming up. And it's empty. Yay. Round two. I take a good look around and find nobody I recognize. It's kind of a bummer. I've never had tr trouble making friends in the past, so I'm not worried. Alright, let's do it. Where is the teacher? Five minutes are gone by. I'll take my time to stretch my arms. Whoops, knocked over a pencil. Holy, what a dive. I think this girl was sitting two seats behind me. How'd she react that fast? Cause she crazy! I didn't even glance in the direction my pencil was heading. Nice catch. Thanks, but it was nothing. I don't like the look she's given me. That's a look that says I've killed people. Ah, oh, your reaction time's insane. I barely reacted myself. Training for the league, aren't you? This isn't really all that impressive. Oh, uh, thanks for making me look like a shrimp. Alright. It's okay if your reflexes are slow. There are plenty of other things to worry about in the big leagues anyway. You don't have to go and say, oh. My name's Gardenia, what's yours? I'm Dave. Nice meeting you, Dave. Oh, I hear something. She jumps back into her seat. Okay, so she'll just flip around class. And whoa. In a puff of smoke and Japanese instrumentation. Let's do it. Welcome to poison class, children. I am your instructor, Koga. And there he goes. He's gone. <laughs> what is this guy, some kind of ninja? I am not only a master of poison Pokemon, but also a master of ninjutsu. Of course. Alright, teach you about poison Pokemon. In fact, you're correct. But that is not all I will teach you. I'll teach you the importance of the human and Pokemon mind, and how they're easy to manipulate. Yeah, this, this, of all the classes, this is the one I definitely belong in. Let me start with a simple question. What makes our Pokemon strong? Sounds like a quick co trick question, but it's gotta be... The Pokemon's level, duh. Is that even a real question? Fwahaha, <laughs> and how can you be so sure? His combat potential will be higher, obviously. How can you be a teacher and not know that? Speaking of which, what kind of teachers late to class on the first day? I thought this was an elite school. <laughs> a kunai flew across the room and embedded itself in the black in the back wall. Er. Well, if you understand Pokemon, then you will understand why I remain hidden. Can anyone guess why? I'd give you a hint. It is more important than strength, technique, skill, all of that. Nobody knows. It's about defying expectation. Is it knowing your opponent before the encounter? God. And you analyze their weak points and capabilities so you don't have to make things up on the fly. Yes! What is your name? Hilda. Explain your thinking, Hilda. Self-explanatory. If you engage a Pokemon or a trainer without knowing anything about them, you're immediately putting yourself at a disadvantage, which is why intel is important. It's Pokemon Battling 101. Hilda is correct. Pokemon are not brute strength. You must understand your weaknesses, the strength, weaknesses, their mentality. If you know these things, even the weakest Pokemon can defeat the strongest. I just say, this would be like a class to be in if Pokemon were real. Like, this is exactly what they should teach. All the other stuff you can learn is application of the knowledge, which is pretty much entirely what Koga's teaching. On the field, 
You must exploit every possible advantage you can get. If there are none in sight, then you must make them yourself. Confusion, poison, sleep are tools to gain the upper hand in all signature tools of poison type Pokemon. You shall learn soon enough. The guy is making it sound like we're going to assassinate someone rather than just study Pokemon. Well, if you can assassinate a person, you can win a Pokemon battle. But despite the dubious nature of the teacher, this is a helpful and Yeah. That'd be cool if they incorporate that into the Pokemon games, like taking classes with gym leaders. That'd be interesting. You are dismissed for today. Still, well, that was so quick. That felt a lot more quick than uh, Fantina's class. Six minutes in. And yay, let's wrap up homeroom. The day didn't feel like it dragged on, but all things considered, I'm ready to call it. Judging by the look on everyone's face, they look ready too. Yeah. Alright, talking about trivial matters. Great! That's less for me to worry about voicing. I expected class with the professor to be a little more fulfilling. Uh, that's what everyone was making out to be. But nothing that's particularly memorable other than the scary graduation speech. Maybe he's unprepared. Uh, that's a really unlike him. No, he- did you not learn from Koga? He's lulling you into a false sense of security so he can kill you. I can tell by the look in your eyes you're all quiet or listening to me prattle on. Tell the truth, I'm tired of it too, haha. <laughs> but before I dismiss you, let me all give you a welcome gift, a celebration for your acceptance into Kobukon Academy. He got balls! Okay, got more excited. You today, each of you will be taking a Pokemon for yourself, courtesy of the Academy. And each of these Pokeballs that you will receive is a random, unevolved, untamed Pokemon. Consider them your homework for the next three years. Alright, you got Pokemon. Dude, take the Pokemon! Regardless of what Pokemon you already own, these Pokemon will be required to stay on hand for the rest of your time at Kobukon Academy. Let me guess, they're going to be evaluated periodically. The Pokemon will be reviewed along with yourself and other potential Pokemon in your party to determine whether or not you can graduate. Great, I love being forced to take on liabilities. That's the spirit, Gluff McGruff. I had assumed this school wasn't gonna be all about grades, so not a complete shock. Okay, what? Remember, what you get is what you get. Get a magic harp or a mime junior. All right. I remember when I was a kid, Professor gave me Zeus. Same situation. Didn't get much of a choice. In retrospect, thought it was the best day of my life. Times are simpler. I got a Vulpix. Woo! I want a Vulpix. Uh, if it's anything like the last demo, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm getting already. I thought we were getting Rattatas and Vidoofs. <laughs> and Young Gooses. <laughs> I wouldn't... I'm grateful for anything at all, but it's kind of sucked knowing and I... It's, uh, okay. Yeah. Dave! Alright, let's get it! Alrighty, let's do it! Whatever gods are out there watching, don't let me down! Is it Charmander? There he is. Congratulations, it's a Charmander. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. I what? You're not pulling my leg. No, I am not pulling anybody's leg. That's how you get fired. He's in your care now. All right, a Charmander. Today's my lucky day. Uh, <laughs> I'm on fire. I don't know what to expect, but everything turned out better. All right. It's funny, I'm actually not that crazy about Charmander. <laughs> I'd rather have Squirtle. Or Bulbasaur, for sure. Got a starter Pokemon, too? Yeah, she probably got a Bulbasaur, because she's Leaf. And I'm Red. And Gary probably got freaking Squirtle. A Charmander should play with my Bulbasaur sometime. It's only natural our Pokemon should be best friends like their trainers. Oh, we're best friends already. Just, just accept it, Dave. You're best friends with Leaf now. You got a Charmander? Yeah, hey, it's perfect, because I got a Squirtle over me. I got a get water gun, and then later on, Hydro Pump from Blastoise. Squirtle, 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 blah blah blah, Squirtle, Squirtle, I know! Okay, I never, my Pokemon looks stronger anyway. Hey, leave him alone, it's not nice to bully others. Okay, I got a Firestar too. Let me guess, it's Torchic. A Torchic. Okay. So, 
Why? I thought she would have had it already and brought it to school. I don't know. Because it seems like she was already interested in the Torchic Evolutionary line, as she mentioned before when she took the po uh, fire elective. Sounds like something's rigged here. Then again, she's she's the kid of a professor at this academy, so makes sense. Makes sense how they could get starters. They're so rare on an elite school's budget like this. Probably makes sense. Right, what Pokemon did you get? A Cleffa! It's kind of cute compared to my Miltic. So yeah, like Whitney has her signature Pokemon already, but she gets a Cleffa for whatever reason. Flannery, did you get a Numble because camera ups your signature Pokemon? Or did you get something else because you already have a Numble or a uh, Torkoal? Did I say camera up? No, sorry. Torkoal is her signature. Oh, so maybe she did get a Numble because camera up I don't think is her signature. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> I've taken fire and ground electus, so I'll say this worked out okay. It might take a while to get used to the whole camel thing that's going on. C camel thing? Alright. Yep, it can learn eruption. Yeah, you're gonna get a camera up. You're gonna kill people with it. So she probably already has a Torkoal then, if that's how this game's working. Can't wait to play with my Torchic. She will have so much fun. Oh, but you have a Skitty at home! Okay, we can bring our Pokemon. That said, doesn't matter. I'm getting my Jigglypuff and Nidoran. Centered. Ah! I foresee Wigglytuff and Nidor... I'm assuming Nidoqueen, but it could be a Nidoking. I actually really like Wigglytuff as a Pokemon. Get them at the Pokemon Center. They've been there for months. Anything like me, they can't sit still for too long. That's, that's not good. Have you been getting them their vitamins and all? Uh, yeah. Vitamins. Getting some... Not the most experienced... Yeah, man! You gotta get some vitamins! You gotta get that Carbos for speed! That protein for attack! Zinc and shit! Alright. Alright. What are you doing standing around for? Class is over! Excuse everyone for being excited and wanting to show off their Pokemon. Everyone looks terrified, by the way. I love this. And we disperse. After school! I gotta end it off. Uh, let's see, what words will we get? Hmm, sweet freedom, what do you guys want to do now? I don't know, we'll find out in the next episode. But for now, leave a like if you like this video, and subscribe if you want to see more. This is Dave out, peace out.